Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the Bayes theorem and few examples based on Bayes theorem, right? Now let's discuss the Bayes theorem, but the terminologies will be different, right? So we are defining one name to each of this particular probability and see what is the meaning of that. So these terminologies are very important when we are going to discuss ML and AI concept, okay? So in few topics of ML and AI, we require this thing, okay? So let's discuss this here only. What is Bayes theorem? So we have already discussed that. The probability of A given that B is already occurred is equals to probability of B given that A is occurred into probability of A divided by probability of B. So this is what we have proved also in the last video, right? So we have proved this particular theorem. Now what I am saying, this particular probability, so this particular probability A given that B is known as posterior probability. Now what is this posterior probability? The probability of an event A occurring given that B is true. Okay, so this we know that but the name of this particular thing is posterior probability. What about this one? This is basically likelihood. What is likelihood? The probability of event B occurring given that A is true. Okay, so remember one important point here. The difference between this and this is what? We are finding out the value of this particular probability. So that's why it is posterior probability. But here we know the value of this particular thing that is likelihood. Okay. So I hope you understand the difference between this and this. If I say probability of B given A is equals to probability of A given B into probability of B divided by probability of A. Now in this particular case, this will be my posterior probability. This will be my likelihood okay likelihood okay now what is this probability of a now this is a prior probability what is prior probability it is the initial probability of an event a before any new evidence b is taken into account so i will discuss this particular thing with the help of example but as of now just remember that in the numerator we multiply likelihood with the prior probability okay and what is this probability of B? Okay. Now what is probability of B? This is basically marginal likelihood. The probability of event B occurring under all possible scenarios. Okay. So we'll discuss with the help of example. But remember that posterior probability is equals to likelihood into prior probability divided by marginal likelihood okay so this is what the base theorem is we are going to discuss this we are going to apply this base theorem in machine learning in few concept of machine learning and when we discuss about the topic on the uncertainty part in AI, we are going to use this particular thing. Okay. So just remember the terminologies that we have discussed in this particular video. Okay. I hope this thing is clear, this particular thing. Okay. Now let's take one example. Now suppose I have two coins. So coin one is what? So coin one is basically a fair coin. Let's say it is a fair coin. So fair coin means what? The probability of getting a head, probability of getting head or tail. So, so we will deal with head. So let's say probability of getting a head, probability of getting a head, getting a head is what? 1 by 2, right? So same example we have discussed in the previous video, similar examples, but I'm just changing the condition here. So coin one is, it is a fair coin, probability of getting a head is 1 by 2. Now coin two is false coin. Now it is a false coin, 
false coin or i can say it is a biased coin okay it is a biased coin now in this probability of getting head is what i am saying say 80 percent 0.8 and here it is 0.5 so whenever i flip a coin if i use a fair coin there is 50 percent chance that i will get a head but whenever I will flip a biased coin, the probability of getting a head is 0.8%, right? So, this is what we are assuming. It is a false coin or biased coin. So, we have this two coin, coin 1 and coin 2, okay? Now, what we want to find out, if we select any one coin randomly and flip it, it we are getting a head, okay? So, let's define a question here let's say i want flipping a coin let's say flipping a coin flipping any coin okay flipping a coin and we are getting a head so I am selecting any one coin out of this and I am flipping that and I am getting a head. So this is what I have defined. Now I want to find out the probability, probability that we pick the biased coin, biased coin given that we got head, given that we got head, right? So, if you remember, we have discussed similar example in the last video, right? So, this was the example that we have discussed in the last video. I can take the same example also, but let's discuss this separately, okay? So, here the thing is, I am taking any one coin, I am flipping a coin and we are getting a head. Now, I want to find out the probability that we pick the bias coin given that we got the head. I want to find out probability that we pick a bias coin given that we got a head now i want to use this particular formula so what i will do so i will define a as selecting or i can say choosing a biased coin okay because i can select a fair coin also bias coin also and i will select a b that is getting head getting a head and what we have to find out probability that we picked a bias coin so we picked a bias coin given that we got a head so it means we need to find out probability of a that is selecting a bias coin given that it is a head so this is what we need to find out okay now i can solve this question using base theorem right this particular formula but i will going to you but i am going to use this terminologies now okay so this is what we need to find out and this is basically what posterior probability okay so this is basically a posterior probability okay and we want to find it out now we have event a choosing a biased coin so the formula for this particular thing is what let me write it down here probability of b given that a into probability of b into probability of a divided by probability of b okay and if you remember this particular thing is prior probability this is likelihood okay so probability of a is what my prior probability so here prior probability is what probability of a now what is a choosing a bias coin now i have this two coin fair coin or bias coin so, what is the probability of selecting a bias coin out of 2? That is 1 by 2 only. So, it is 0.5. Okay. So this is what prior probability is. Okay. The probability of event A before any new evidence B is taken into account. We are just selecting a coin before getting a head. Right. So, before getting a head or before flipping a coin, I am just selecting one coin. So, that is what my prior probability is. So it is probability of A is basically what? 1 by 2. I have to select a bias coin out of 2 coins. So that is 1 by 2. So that is what the prior probability is. Now what is likelihood? Likelihood is what? Probability of B given that A. Right. Now what does this particular thing mean? 
probability of getting the hit given that I have selected a biased coin. This is what a likelihood is. So, this is what a likelihood is. Probability of event B occurring given that A is true. And here A is what? Choosing a biased coin. So, I have selected a biased coin here. I want to find out probability of getting a hit. That is basically 0.8 only, right? So, I have selected a biased coin. Now, I want to find out probability of getting hit. So, that is 0.8 only. So, this is what a likelihood is. Now, I left with what? This particular thing that is marginal likelihood. Now, what is marginal likelihood? That is probability of B. Now, students get confused between this prior probability and this marginal probability. Now, see here what is the difference. If you don't understand in the previous slide, now this will be clear to you. Now, here I talk about the prior probability that event happens without considering any other event. Now, what is marginal likelihood here? So, total probability of event B occurring under, occurring under all possible scenarios. What is B getting a head? So, B is getting a head. Getting a head means what? I can select a fair coin. I can get a head. If I select a bias coin, I can get a head. Right? So, can I write like this? Probability of getting a head. That is B. If I select a fair coin. Fair coin. So, this. Right? Into probability of getting a head in fair coin into probability of fair coin right plus probability of getting a head if i use a bias coin if i use a bias coin into probability of bias coin right and if you observe this is basically what total probability so by applying the concept of total probability we got this marginal likelihood. So, don't get confused between total probability and marginal likelihood. It is the total probability of event B occurring all under possible scenarios. Now, here just do the calculation. So, probability of getting a head using fair coin is what? 0 0.5. Selecting a fair coin is what? 0 0.5. Plus, probability of getting a B using a bias coin is what? 0 0.8. And selecting a bias coin is what? Again 0.5. So, if I do a calculation, I will get 0.25 plus 0.4 that is a 0.65, right? So, 0.65. Now, we have all the probabilities, prior probability, likelihood and marginal probability. Now, just put the values in the formula and see what we get. If I just put the values, so that will be a 0.8 into 0.5 divided by 0 0.65. So, that will be 0.61. Okay, you can do the calculation, it will be near to this particular thing only. Now, this is the probability that is basically a posterior probability. I hope you understand the concept of Bayes theorem using this terminology. So, in the question, if I mention this terminology, don't get confused. Remember this important thing. Okay, remember this important thing. Don't get confused, right? So, I am going to use this directly in the AI part, reasoning under uncertainty. So, when I say likelihood, prior probability or marginal likelihood, so you should know what I am saying, okay? I hope this thing is clear to everyone. So, very, very important uh, concept for ML and AI, okay? And for probability also because we, we can get such type of examples, right? So, that's it from this particular video. Thank you.